Hi and welcome to Geekology at the cinema. I'm David. I'm Sven. And I'm Daniel. And you join us at Odeon Cinemas at Broadway Plaza where we have just seen Transformers The Last Night. You know, I was looking forward to seeing this film because the trailer made me think it was going to be slightly more historical. And yay, England and Merlin and knights and woohoo! I forgot. Oh, and Anthony Hopkins, of course. Anthony Hopkins, yes. Sir. Anthony. Sir Anthony Hopkins. But I forgot the one major thing. It was Michael Bay. It's in Transformers at the beginning of the film! <laughs> <clears throat> um, well, you are la 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 Transformer God. Um, <laughs> what or did hell. you think or of hell. that steaming pile of horse crap? Well, um, I'm trying not to do another shot dog review, because uh, after the last one, um, <laughs> the, the comments, basically, it's very interesting, like, he had his dog shot. I think my dog has been cremated <laughs> and served. <laughs> yeah, by a point. really camp C-3PO ripoff, which yeah. is pretty camp to begin with. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I have um, to, yeah. I'm trying to think of a good point. Oh, well, we'll move straight on to you then. <laughs> What did you think? Because he's not going to find a good point for that film. All I have to say is that I think it wasn't a half bad film. It was definitely better than Revenge of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon. I definitely think that because I they they would they those two films just lost me completely. That one I feel like had a bit more something to it. Okay. Would you like to define what that something was? Because I'd, I'd like to find out what it was. Can, can we put sure. a spoiler here and tell our viewers that this young man's having his 16th birthday? Maybe it's all the hormones distracting yeah. him from the <laughs> film? I'm not like... What? <laughs> Your 16th birthday just finished. Oh, it just finished. Okay. <laughs> so, the, the um, 40-something-year-old, 40-something-year-old, 16-year-old, Tell us why that was great, because I missed oh, something. Oh, he didn't say it was great, to be fair. He was said it wasn't half bad. I'm trying to work out I'm which... I'm trying to figure out why his definition of the word uh, bad what, is what point then? was it 51% good? Only when the dragon was on screen. Okay, okay. So... I, 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 I just have a thing for dragons, and the fact that it was made up of 12 different knights, and I okay. have a thing for knights as well. Are we allowed to point out at this point as well that the only reason you liked Age of Extinction is well, because, because of the Dinobots? Dino bots. I'm <laughs> very aware of this. <laughs> well, the word baby Dinobots, yeah. where they came from, yeah, is that, a different. That. Let's not ask. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Me. And yeah. one of one of the things that got me: two of the Dinobots were missing. Where was Scorn and Swoop? Oh, they, they just could completely have been in the Slash. They could have been in the Transformers. Slash was never prison. in Age of Extinction, wasn't he? No. Yeah. No. No, he wasn't. He was a little bit. Okay. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they were in Transformers. So was Slog. Slog wasn't ever in it. Yes, he was. It was only the four. Can I call him Sludge? Fine, whatever. Okay. Am I allowed to call Slag? Slag still? Yes. Okay. <sighs> it didn't Swoop have a new name? Wasn't he called Straff? Yes. Okay. I call him Swoop because that, I, that's what I know him about. Yeah, okay. Not that you've been infected at all. The games. <laughs> <laughs> the games. Hey, pfft, yeah, no. Okay. We're trying to keep this bit sort of spoiler free and we will throw up a spoiler warning and go into it um, storyline wise. Um, okay, Spo let's, let's the do this. spoiler is if anybody goes and watches this film. Yeah, don't spoil your life with that. <laughs> it's two and a half hours. And a, At a least good, it's shorter than the last one. And a good yeah, half an yeah. hour of that was just things blowing up. I wouldn't mind. Of course it was. It was a baby film. There were people, oh, running, film. There were people running in. Different directions. I swear, at one point they ran across each other. <laughs> yes, just, it was a Michael just, Bay film. Just, yeah, <laughs> nine times out of ten minutes. Very little. <clears> anyway, sense. sorry. You, Please you narrow it down to Michael Bay film. That didn't. Sorry, let's, let's you were do trying some to structure, add structure here. Structure. Okay, yeah, go on then. Right. Do we? We have. We have good parts. We have the a three-headed dragon made up of twelve knights. knights. We have Dinobots. Yes. Ish. Sort of. Even if he's throwing up a, a, a police a, a, cruiser, a, yeah. which was in the trailer, so we can call that not a non spoiler yeah, The part where they were destroying all those, um, the, all those, yeah, the cars, it's quite cool. There were parts of Transformer lore that they managed to pull from various versions of the franchise and put into this film. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. David, do you have a good point? 90% of the special effects were well done. Which is an upgrade from Age of Extinction, to be honest. Yeah. But it was only 90%. Yeah, because some of that was... The cinematography okay. was pretty good. Costuming wasn't bad. 
Mm. Costuming, not referring to any of the CGI stuff. No, okay. Right. Bad points. <laughs> Do we have in the film? Time? It was two and a half hours long. Most of it wasn't even good. It was two and a half hours with a plot that could have been fitted into, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, hang yeah. on, hang on. Was the 20 minutes worth a plot? No, I, um, I must have missed the plot. There was a plot. <laughs> I swear Apparently. it was just explosions. It was either that or it was just a small around. plot of land they were going for. Or just... some, high, uh, some kind of ignition chamber. Yeah. Okay. As a Transformers film, bearing in mind I've watched all of the Transformers films. No, I'm sorry. To be fair, so have I. That was offensive. Yeah. But it was offensive to anybody as, who's British for a start. As yes, a movie, definitely. as as just a film, if we ignored all the Transformers stuff and just said it's a standalone movie, it was offensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I okay. I actually it's offensive as a film. It's offensive doubly as a Transformers film, and triply offensive if you're British. And and another. You know, point. you know that film London Fell, which I hated. Mm. Less offensive this than this. This was worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, less offensive than this. Okay, right. Um, negative points for me. They took all these little bits of Transformers lore and then inverted them and combined them into some kind of unholy monster. Um, so they transformed them? Yes. Ha ha! In a bad way. Mm. Um, yes. I'll, I'll go on to other things in the spoilery part of this review, which will yeah. be after the big spoiler warning. Um, worst parts for you? I'll, I'll say worst parts, because mm. if we say bad points, we'll be here all night. He said length of the film. Length of the film, is that too, it? I, I can't really think of anything else. Is it, is it that gone out of your head that quickly? Probably. Okay. No sound wave, no shock wave, even though they were mentioned. Um, That's a good point, yeah. And how come all of a sudden Bumblebee can pull himself together when Jazz can't? Yeah. To be fair, though, it, oh, was, it was pretty hang cool. Hang on, hang Well, yeah, I suppose that was in the trailers. Yeah, that's not a spoiler. Okay. Oh, don't ask me. I just thought that whole thing was a complete load of... Okay, we've been scoring... Just bloopers. so you know, in case you haven't been watching our stuff, at which point, you know, you're grounded. But um, <laughs> we've been scoring... <laughs> don't dab. That wasn't a dab. <laughs> that was me going, what the fuck? I thought you were about to dab. Don't do a missy on me. Um, well, that's another bad thing. Right, you have another planet coming to Earth to suck it dry of energy. Oh, just, that sounds just, like Mondas. Just, just, just don't. Just Mondas don't. and Cybermen. You're using a, a, a planet called Cybertron to emulate Mondas and the Cybermen story from Doctor Who's... First Doctor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's, not, let's not That's insult not there, it yeah. for the idea that it may have ripped off the concept from somebody else. I think it sucks all in its own right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay? You, you no can't, you can't start us. going, well, maybe it's because it... No, okay. no. All right. We've been scoring the films out of five uh, pips, Star Trek style, okay. for ranking. Okay. Um, how many pips yeah, I know is this that getting? Technically me. How many pips are we giving this out of five? It's not even a cadet. Oh, it's not even getting a black pip. No, it's not even getting a hollow. It no. It zero. It, it's a zero film. Right, a zero, just boom. I feel like I would probably have to give it the one because the dragon. Gets one for a dragon. It gets one for the dragon. Okay. I'm going to give it half a pip. <laughs> on the basis of they were brave enough to do Nemesis Prime. Oh, great. Right, then. They changed right, an yep, icon yep. and give somebody a different name. Yep, that's the actually what they, they did. The they could have got one pip out of that if they'd coloured him black. Yeah. Um, which they could have done, to be fair, because they already messed that, with his paint fine. job. Yeah. So, so yeah. I'm just like, ah. Oh. But, um, right, to, to put it mildly, do not watch this film even at your local Odeon cinema. Uh, go down to your local Odeon cinema and watch Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. <laughs> watch Wonder Woman. I'm sorry, you haven't seen it. I haven't seen Wonder Woman. No. No. Honestly, go and watch if, Wonder Woman. <laughs> if you just wrote all the films that are playing down at your local Odeon and, and put them in a hat, minus the Transformers film, and randomly picked a movie, I can guarantee you, you will better. still have enjoyed it more than if you watch this one. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we are now going...
Right, so you've had your spoiler alert. We are now going to really, really... Tear this apart. Tear this apart. Nice. Okay. Right. Um, questions, lads, because you, I, I'm sure you're going, what the hell, on various things that happened in this film. Okay. Fire away. <laughs> oh, there were so many. Go on. Right. <clears throat> I will ignore the Transformers ones, and I'll start on the things that irked me the most. Okay. Okay. So... You've got something that is roughly the lot well, it's larger when it's intact as Earth in Earth's orbit with huge chunks of it on our planet's surface and we maintain an atmosphere. How? Well, yeah, there is that. I mean, the fact that Cybertron's not supposed to have an atmosphere and it is, in fact, supposed to be bigger than Earth, though in the cartoon series it was depicted as being smaller than Earth. Um, in the G1 cartoon series, that is. Um, that makes no sense. Okay. Um, even the camera's giving up on us. Yeah, yeah, the lighting really isn't, isn't <laughs> in our favour. Anyway, right, okay. Right, so, so we've got planet physics. Yeah. Um, aside from the weapons that yeah. distort physics, we've got actual physics, because somebody evidently doesn't know how ocean warfare is fought <laughs> at all and has a cursory understanding of this novel little country we live in. <laughs> yep. And, Don't get me started. And just, oh my, just, oh my, I just... Oh. Okay, so, ignoring all the well, physics... there is a suspension of disbelief when you're watching action films. Yeah. So That's we'll, Tom Cruise and his amazing physics device. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll um, pretend that all the nonsense on the spaceship and all the rest of it, and I'll just go with Transformers questions, like... Okay. The little watch that killed Hitler. <laughs> so you've got a butler that's running around on clockwork, but a clockwork watch that has the same transformer style as a Nokia phone. Yes. Yeah, so, so yeah. and the, the well, corrupted... don't forget from the first film, all of all of the human technology is based on Megatron. And corrupted goddess. Well, is she a corrupted goddess, or is she just well? She was called evil, a, uh, given form she was called a, <laughs> a, a goddess, creator. So, yeah, no, the just... creator called Quintessa, which sticks in my craw more than anything else. It's like, oh, good god! Where did we Megatron with... suddenly get the, the red slash down? He didn't know. have that in the previous film, we did that, that and we didn't see him take a little journey. At least he got his fusion cannon. Um. Yeah, no. Where did the baby dino bots come from? Let's, let's not ask. Let's not question that. No. No, we're not questioning we don't need to give us. We don't, need, we don't need to give a science lesson today. No, <laughs> no, especially a, a, a cybernetic biology lesson. Okay, Squeak. <laughs> Where did that thing come from? Squeaks. Well, he was just one of the, 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 the people that came down. I was about to say. One of the Autobots. Um, yeah. He was just a small one. Wheelie somehow was still kicking around. I don't know how that worked. Um, him, Wheelie, him, not my friend. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, if, if, if humanity has decided that let's get rid of the Transformers, why have we got a shed load of really big bad ones in prison? That's a good question. Yeah, yeah all, well, it, 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 that, that's been a, a recurring theme, to be fair. It was in the comic where um, some of the authorities went after the Autobots because they were an easier target. Mm. Well, they, they, they won't shoot back. back. They won't shoot back. Yeah. Um, so, yes, any more Transformers questions or should I hand over to... Oh, I've got a shed load of them and okay. none of them are good. I don't actually... No, I've just sat for two and a half hours of nonsense. Complete okay. and utter nonsense. Maybe we'll come back At to you in a moment. At least he enjoyed it. Well, mostly. Bits. Bits and bobs. You say mostly. Are you sure you mostly? No, I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> go on, then. The one thing that makes no sense. Yeah. Earth. <laughs> the one thing. Yes. Well, this is the main thing that makes very little sense, besides from all the physics nonsense. Why Earth is Unicron? Um, this was actually lifted from Transformers Prime mm -hmm. TV show. Um, the idea is that the chaos and fury given form is the core of Earth. Kind of worries me. Okay. Um, doesn't make any sense. The, the, the Unicron is Gaia. Uh, what? Uh, no. Um, and and the, the idea of Unicron being the core of an organic planet in itself. Yeah, it's just like, that, that, eh? that, that's kind of the thing that gets me. doesn't make any sense. No. What was it you said as well about the dragon? You like the dragon made up of the 12, 12 primes. Nights. Yeah. 
Okay, for those who don't know, in the... Hang on, did they actually say he was the 12 bums? Didn't they just say it's the 12 knights? Yeah, but Quintessa uh, said that she they were the original 12 Autobots, the original 12 Transformers created, which makes them the original 12 I primes. thought the ori- I thought there were the little ones in the background when she said that because there were knights in the background of hers. Yeah, on that's pedestals. them. Oh, that was... Uh, there were no. statues of robots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Now, the thing is, is in, in the original origin of the Transformers, which was in the comics, which is that the first 12 Autobots who rose from the planet's surface were uh, the f- first 12 Autobots, basically. That was then retro, uh, retro-conned into, retconned into them being the first 12 Primes, including things like the Liege Maximo, um, Primer, um, Apparently, they've now rewritten it, so one of them was Optimus Prime, who then died and then came back as the Optimus Prime we now know. One of them was Megatronus. Here's a, here's a Transformers, uh, here's a Transformers though, question for Go you. On, Vector okay. Prime. So you've got a shed load of really big robots running around with swords, axes, and various types of guns. Which, by the way, why humans still firing normal bullets at Transformers? That just makes no sense. Um, I think they're so, pulling from the original tech specs and bio profiles that said that certain certain Autobots and Decepticons had things like machine guns and so on. So. Yeah, no, 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 I'm fine with the Transformers having guns. I'm just like, it's why just... Are humans bothering? Ping, 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 ping. It just points. They had upgraded some of the weapon technology. Yeah, so it looks like some of them so, was working. But yeah. here's, here's an important thing that I never understood about any of the Transformers films. What's so special about him Prime? Because I'm not being funny, but he goes along, he smacks the bad guy about a bit, end of story. Okay. But all the others seem to smack him about a bit, so why yeah. do they always have to wait for the one sodding guy? It, 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 there's two, two theories there. Um, both revolve around the Matrix. Selling toys? Who's that? Well, but both it's... revolve around the Matrix, whether you call it the Creation Matrix or the Matrix of Leadership. Now, the Creation Matrix was originally, again, from the comic, and then was stolen for Transformers the movie in 1986, because that was when it was introduced into the cartoon series storyline, mm-hmm. yeah, okay? Yeah. And they called it the Matrix of Leadership. Now, the Creation Matrix, eventually we discovered it was basically a link to Primus, and all the sparks of all the Transformers who have been or, or ever would be. So, theoretically, using that, Prime should be able to access all of the skills of all of those sparks. Mm-hmm. The ma- Matrix of Leadership, they actually said that all of the knowledge and abilities of the previous Primes were available okay. to the holder. In any so, film, uh, film, yeah, discounted the animated series, mm-hmm. <clears throat> has Prime done anything in any of the battle scenes that not one of the other robots could do? <sighs> it, always re- it always comes down to punch, punch, smack, smack, shoot, shoot. I'm, I'm just glad that, that the Matrix wasn't around for Hot Rod to get his mitts on. Mm. You wouldn't want a French Hot Rod with that. A French Rodimus Prime. <laughs> that was just that. Why was Hot Rod French? That's a good question. Nobody knows. But, but why? God, he transformed into an Italian sports car. To be fair, he did turn into a, a Citroen to start with. True. I actually like that. The hot Rod turned into a I did. Have, I like the fact she smashed at his window and was like, stop I, doing I, that. I do have a feeling I should link to this, the, the, the 2CV version of the Citroen dancing robot ad at this point. Yeah. That was a comedy. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good. Oh, God. Um, All right, here's a question, Sven. Was there anything other than the fact that they pulled some minorly, quarterly good ideas from other things into the film? Was there anything about this film that was remotely retrievable? No, no, no. I mean, you know, I mean, I'll read, I'll watch as might not, not know, I'll read yours might not know, but Nemesis Prime is in the film. That was pretty obvious from Optimus Prime turning evil, that's who Nemesis yeah. Prime always was. Um, but it's usually a case of you had Optimus Prime in our universe and Nemesis Prime was an Optimus Prime from a dead universe or a universe that got destroyed by Unicron and Unicron was starting to go into other universes and used Nemesis Prime as his avatar, as his herald, or whatever to go yeah. in and get things ready so he can come in and suck the place dry, literally. Um, and for ha- to have, uh, have him have the ability to switch back from Bumblebee from hearing Bumblebee's voice, it could have been worse. Bumblebee could have said, "Martha." <laughs> 
Why why did he rip out the, the replacement voice box? Okay, he yes, didn't. Yes, the replacement he did. voice box is where his mouth should be, and he messed around with his throat, which in itself didn't make any bloody no, sense. No, because no, he, 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 they had him speaking like Stephen Hawking, <laughs> and then he went, chunk, sod that, I'll go back to using the radio version. Yeah. That made no sense. Uh, okay, you might not sound right, but it at least was you also could a case of Optimus Prime going. I haven't seen, heard you speak since Cybertron died. No, no, Tron they died. did that way, but no, they, they, they did the whole voice boxing right at the yeah, beginning yeah, of I the know, film. I know, but but later on in the film, Prime. Oh says, yeah, and then he ditched it. Yeah. Said so, so, no, no. Prime says I haven't heard you speak yeah. since. Fa yeah, uh, no, he hasn't and heard him speak he's got since no the. Voice box. He hasn't heard him speak to, since the end of the two thousand and seven Transformers film because at the very last scene, uh, Bumblebee. Yes, spoke. but he had no voice box. The voice box, he physically went... Boom, boom. But what they changed, the voice box part they changed was his dummy. Yeah, but... The dummy uh, thing. Yeah, but he removed it. <clears throat> he removed it, so he had nothing. No, he other didn't. Than he left that thing. in and he messed with his throat. It was a different part. Yeah, he, he did, he did. Do pay attention, 007. shit. Right. <laughs> it was just... Just end. Just although, although, if he water did... Water war crap. If, if he did obviously remove the thing from his throat, and yeah. when Prime got his retractable Wolverine fake claw, from his <laughs> wrist, <laughs> and just sat... he going to lock someone's head off? Oh wait, he did. Um, and that that whole crap with him blowing apart and pulling himself back together—nonsense. He's not a combiner. No. What is he? Made up a little micro box. Apparently. Just the whole. Thing. There was a steaming... P I was actually looking forward to this one. Not as a Transformers film, but as, as a movie. I thought it was going to be... I saw Andy Hopkins in it, Knight, um, it's the, it, I, I quite like the idea of the, 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 cyber, the, say, the original Cybertronians had the ability of combination. It's like, no, they didn't. <laughs> oh. Otherwise, Devastator would have come along a lot earlier. Yeah. Surely any of the combiners would have come along a lot faster. Yeah, it's like, okay, and then suddenly, uh, what was it, six or eight identical Decepticons can, called Berserkers can combine into one big Berserker? Is that what we saw? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they were Berserkers, because at the beginning of the film when Megatron asked for those... They said, those, no, you couldn't have him. Yeah, no. so that wasn't Berserker. Oh, I don't know, but they were all... They, I'm, I'm assuming it might have just been oh, some... Am I right in thinking Onslaught got slaughtered? Yeah. Yeah. The only one um, that actually was a Transformer from the past, yeah. who was a combiner. Yeah, Drift was, just decapitated him. Yeah, because he was the core of Bruticus. Yeah. So why didn't they just go with Onslaught and Blastoff and Vortex yeah. and Swindle and Brawl? Well, no, no, no. This, well, this, this just sounds like a stupid mm -hmm. idea. But what if it's something daft like only Onslaught had reached Earth at that point in time? No, because Brawl's already Brawl was in the two thousand and seven. Oh, you just go and spend, say, two hours with the proctologist. You enjoy it more than the show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> fair point. I just, I'd, I'd actually prefer to watch Into Darkness. I think I'd rather watch the first Transformers movie. Yet. Which one? Two thousand and seven. Two thousand and seven. I don't. I never said. I think I've seen it. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> look at the look of dread on his face. Shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said I haven't seen the 1986 movie. I, I only have it in 14 different formats. You'll have to watch one of them. And coming up in, edu in, 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 in uh, Geekology, the next generation, Daniel will be watching the 1986 Transformers film. Oh, save my soul. On Blu ray. Right. The remastered edition. Well, this conversation could go on for a very long yes. time, and I have a sneaking suspicion he's going to throw quite a lot onto the blooper, so I think we're going to call it a night just there. We do recommend that you visit your local Odeon cinema. And watch Wonder Woman. Yeah, watch Wonder Woman. Don't watch this rubbish. Not this or film. Only watch it if you want to die. <laughs> that might be a liable option. That, you know what? From you, that you might commit suicide before you That live. sounded slightly threatening. Only watch it if you want to die. <laughs> <laughs> he will hunt you down. He, just, he, just be glad he's not saying, "Are you my mummy?" No, oh, God. <laughs> right. Hey, you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter, and of course, there is the official Geekology website. Thank you for watching. Don't watch this. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Hi and welcome to Geekology at the Cinema. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight you oh, join oh, us. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Darn it! I forgot that one. Oh well, that'll make it to the bloopers. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome to Geekology at the Cinema. I'm David. I'm Sven. And I'm Daniel. And you join us here this evening at Transformers: The Last Night. Can I oh. the cinema? Oh, I've already said at the cinema. You did. Oh, that. I didn't do the cinema plug, did I? <laughs> well, well, the bloopers is going to be fucking nice. Huge. nice quality. Three, two, one. <clears throat> the grief, I'm devastated. I'm a powerful robot. We should rule. Ow.